Hi everyone, it's Scorb. Here's uh, another episode of Capsule Monster Coliseum Libre Mod, playing through with the water symbol. Today we have Bandit Keith. Um, the first thing I'm going to do here is surrender um, to give myself access to Psychic Kappa again, since I lost it, and I still want to get it to level 6 before Pegasus. I absolutely don't have to do that. I can do it on Merrick, but it's just more convenient to do it all at once. Um, and also Pegasus is going to have a very bad day. So it doesn't matter. First is better, but... Um, I'm just going to surrender real quick. Um, since I can't use this, um, so I will just pick one creature. Random places faster. by like one button click. I'll just go ahead and try again. And this should give me access to Psychic Kappa again. So I can get it to level 6 before the next fight. Also, uh, if you do that 20 times, you can get access to Celtic Guard again, instead of just grabbing it from Odeon. Yeah, uh, Celtic Guardian's not a good piece, so... It has a heal that's not that great as a special, if I remember right. And it's Earth, so I don't care about it on this playthrough at all. Okay, level 5 Psychic Kappa. Um, these two are actually good to go ahead and evolve next. Or This is good to evolve next fight. Um, I'm going to bring a Needleworm. Um, he hits really hard, and having something to soak damage is great. I, I believe both well, these can evolve. Um, I'm going to bring this and evolve it. Um, this map has 60 dark, uh, which really favors uh, woods, so just keep that in mind. Woods are good on dark fields. Um, so I'm going to bring a Great Moth also. Um, let's see here. Um, this isn't terrible on this field. Um, basically, whatever I bring is going to be pretty terrible. <laughs> like, this just doesn't have enough defense to actually be warranted. Uh, what do I want? Cockroach isn't very good. Uh, one of the other problems that uh, Wood has, it just doesn't have anything that has like a 200% a map effect rate, or anything with zeros either. Uh, I think I'll bring a Great White, um, and... Uh... Question is, do I want to bring this Aqua Snake that I ragged on so hard? Or do I want to bring another Kumotoko and. Yeah, I'll bring that and potentially evolve it. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to need quite a few things over on this side. Uh, so that I can kill the two things that come over there. Um, yeah, this is this is one of those fights where uh, we start to learn that darks, when they're leveled up, have a lot of HP. And water gets to show that it doesn't do any damage. And we don't, we aren't anywhere near the um, point in the game where we'll get things that actually do damage. So, this is where we get to try to use great mods as much as we can, and on the next fight we'll be able to get a high tide Gyojin, um, which is another good, good choice here. But again, we're on a dark field, so woods are better, but there's not any good woods, so... It's just a shame. Um, I honestly like to keep my symbol here. Um, his Barrel Dragon sometimes will come down the middle and attack it. And I'm fine with that. He's also another character that sometimes has aversion to hitting your symbol. For some reason. I don't, I don't know why some opponents have that. Most of them see, ooh, enemy piece. I hit enemy piece. Um, put up wood protection immediately. Um, that should go without saying. Um, this nearly tripled this thing's attack to evolve it. It's one of the better woods that you can play, so... Um, just show, uh, it only has 50% symbol effect rate, which is actually pretty good for us. Um, if only it had a map effect rate that was, like, above 100, so that it could take advantage of dark fields. Um, so it's not going to get too much defense, but it'll have a decent amount of attack. Um, so these two are going to be annoying over here, but we should be able to, um, hit them with Great Moth in convenient locations, so... Also on the other side of the field, um, I would like to bait this thing. Um, with that, if I can. Uh, this thing is not very tanky, so even just those two should probably be able to kill it. Although I would like to give the kill to that. Um, although this does need experience still. Um, regardless, uh, this goes on this. Um, these have a lot harder time hitting anything on this, uh, uh, what is that? This column. So, just keep that in mind. Um, 
do watch out. These things do hit pretty hard. Um, slot machine hits very, very hard. Um, that 270 attack won't quite one-shot this spider, so I should be pretty good over here. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to do everything I can to kill these as fast as I can. If only this would kill this, but, um... That's too much defense. I don't know what I want to do here. So this can get this kill um, just fine. Um, it has too much health. So what I want to do, I'm going to just hit this this way. Just to get extra experience. And then Hunter Spider is going to come in and finish this one. Hunter Spider should get tank here as it levels, so that'll be nice. Woods do uh, gain some HP. Um, they also gain symbol effect rate when they level, so we'll gain from that. Um, so this is going to move forward four spaces and stop right next to the needle worm, which is exactly what I want it to do. Um, and he put his bolt penguin in a terrible spot, so we'll just let him hang out there. There's a... Um, this is why wood protection is overpowered. Anything that hits it does zero. It's better than just increasing defense by a thousand. It, just to put that in perspective. Um, that not killing that one hit is kind of unfortunate. Because this can one-shot something. Um, I'm also leaving my symbol open to get attacked here. Uh, uh, I'm going to try to get all my pieces to come back around and go back to the middle now. Oh, 
Oh, hey, he hit my symbol. Um, so, I'd like to get the kill on this piece, so. Just to try to get it to level at the end of this fight. That should uh, be enough to get it to level, so it can be ignored for the rest of this. I do dis dislike how tanky this piece actually is. We'll just put Psychic Kappa back in the corner just to make sure it doesn't end up dead since it doesn't need to do anything. Oh, um, so, funny story, um, I have to move this here, because this Feral Imp can move to here and attack over to it. I was forgetting about that. Um, I don't know why he did this, but, um, I believe he put his piece in a really, really, really bad spot. That'll do about 100 damage to it, um, um, I have to be careful, because, uh, if I move this Hunter Spider right here, um, he can move this up and attack it, so I'm going to avoid that. Use the range of this moth to... And then he can't hit uh, this with the Steel Scorpion because of the brazier in the way. Um, his Barrel Dragon can't hit my symbol yet. I'm going to need to actually move over here. Um, I'm going to end up moving my symbol back one space. I would like him to come even closer. We'll see how this goes. Um, if you'll notice, these uh, fights are going to take significantly longer than the Earth playthrough did. Um, mainly because I do so much less damage. Um, this can move two spaces forward and attack my symbol, which is perfectly fine with me. The Steel Scorpion's looking at a wall. Um, but yeah, this thing has almost 500 attack, um, but fortunately for me, my symbol has almost 700 health left.
And of course, Bandit Keith is going to do stuff like this. Um, fortunately for me, uh, this kills the Steel Scorpion. And this Barrel Dragon can do nothing about it, and I just don't want to deal with it. So, it's dying. I don't care that I put the experience on the Great Moth. It's still good experience. Even if I have to evolve level 9 Great Moths, that's fine. That's fine with me. Oh, Bandit Keith, you you need to move forward, but I'm not going to come to you. <sighs> I mean... How many things can I hit this with? Other than saying not nearly enough. I would really like him to come hit my symbol. Or maybe I can bait him with a needle worm instead of a symbol. Um, since he doesn't really like to attack symbols, maybe he'll attack the piece. Is that close enough? Yeah, that looks definitely close enough. Give me that level 4 shark. I mean, I don't think those two together can actually kill it. Um, 360 minus 120? No, not enough. Wow, that thing has 60 defense? This is what I'm talking about when I say that um, darks are tanky. I mean, this thing has 500 health, or 440 health with 60 defense. This is the perfect amount of damage. Oh, and a, unfortunately, that's a pretty good amount of experience. And finished off with the piece I wanted to finish it. And it'll give 100 experience, I'm sure. Well, that went better than I expected it to. That fight is mostly just... Make sure that you set up to deal with all three flanks. And then deal with them accordingly. Perfect amount of experience, too. That'll be level 3 with the end game experience. Oh, hey, a symbol barely leveled. That's good. Uh, give myself some more effect strength so that I can get more useless defense. <laughs> I 
Um, I believe you get slot machine in the shop. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get everything else in the shop too, besides Braille Dragon, so we'll just take the Braille Dragon and the slot machine. Well, uh, thanks for, thanks everybody for watching and have a nice day.